Hi everybody, I'm Ronnie from Buvis and this is Ivan and he has a YouTube channel Unbreak Me and he's also a LEGO ambassador and he came to Slovenia all the way from California, from Orange County, so quite far away and we are very happy that, that you got here for the Buvis meeting and I have a few questions for you. So the first one would be related uh, exactly to what I mentioned. So what did convince you to come here to Slovenia to Bubi's meeting? Uh, well, last year I saw the promotion with uh, Serial and Racing Brick, uh, Meet the Stars. And I wanted to come last year, but I, but I couldn't. So I thought that this year I, I have to come, I, I must come. And the main reasons uh, for why I did it is because I wanted to compete, first of all, see the booze gathering and everything, and of course to make my video with Racing Brick. I already filmed an interview with him, it uh, might be out on my channel by the time this video is already uh -huh. out. Okay, so next time we will use you. You will be the, the celebrity, right? And we will say, come meet and break me. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, great. Um, so you have your own YouTube channel, as we already mentioned, and mentioned and break me. Uh, what is your favorite Lego theme? Uh, in 2010, uh, there was Lego Atlantis. I loved that theme. Had so many cool uh, builds, minifigures, and unique pieces. So that is my favorite theme of all time. But it's discontinued, and because of that, my favorite themes now are Technic. Uh, mindstorms and anything that has lots of mechanisms, motors, robotics, things like that. Everything that moves. Yes. So not building of houses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, when did you when did you start using Bubis products? I started using Bubis products in uh, January of this year, uh -huh. and uh, I placed okay. Bubis in uh, many of the official sets, uh, and I noticed they go much faster, they're more powerful, and I also installed the buoys in my own personal creation here for the competition. Mm -hmm. Two buoys motors and a, a buoys hub, of course. I really like how you can uh, easily build your own controller. You don't have to do the coding as you have to do in Powered mm -hmm. Up. And I also like the steering because uh, you can adjust the PID values very mm -hmm. easily and it's just a great user interface. Thank you. <laughs> We're trying to make it even better, but you know, development is never, um, never as easy as you anticipate, right? Yes. It always takes more time and more effort. Well, basically that was the idea behind Buoys from the beginning, what you mentioned, more per performance, uh, better controls, and we try to, to keep up with this. What was the, so basically you already explained more or less, right? The main reason that you wanted to try Buoys. Uh, yeah, well, I saw some videos published uh, by Serial and some mm -hmm. other creators. I saw how their models were going much faster, mm -hmm. and I thought that this is a must-have thing. I, I think that Buoys is a must-have for all Technic fans. If, if you're a Technic fan, you should absolutely give it a try, because mm -hmm. it's a much more enjoyable experience when your model goes faster and more powerful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This is nice. Nice to hear, right? <laughs> so this this should be this should be the this should be our uh, let's say uh, main point, right? Yeah. Um, uh, more performance, and everybody should try it, right? Yeah. That's a good good point. Good point. Good point. So how are you? How are you satisfied with buoys? Uh, ve very satisfied. Uh, you know, it, it exceeded my expectations. It's very. I like how easy it is to use you. It's kind of almost like power functions where you just had plug and play, no, no need to uh, spend some time building your own code. Mm -hmm. uh, there, 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 there's always been a difference between Mindstorms and Technic. Mindstorms was all about the coding and Technic was all about the mechanisms and performance and things like that. So I think that Buoys gave a, a very nice ability for mock makers to uh, build their own creations while while not having to uh, learn all the ins and outs of programming. Mm -hmm. This is sometimes people ask me, you know, why didn't you pursue the robotics part of Lego? And I always say because, you know, I think Lego is covering this 
very well or you know almost perfectly with mindstorms and all the software and all the community and everything but with techniques we noticed exactly what you already mentioned this lack of performance right because um, I think it's mostly the out-of-the-box solution is mostly targeted let's say to children right yeah. or of course um, safety and, and security and uh, longevity of components everything but we wanted to add a little bit extra and this is I, performance I, I really like how you brought back the buggy motor mm -hmm. uh, you know it used to be officially in Lego yeah very fast motor but they discontinued it yeah. so so it's uh, very expensive to get it officially from Lego but from buoys it's a much more affordable option. Yeah, I mean, it's been out of production now for what, 16, 17, something like that years, yeah. right? I mean, all the original ones that you can get are of course very old and, and yeah. fragile and, yeah. uh, you know, not working anymore and expensive at the same time, right? Um, the, the direct copies are, let's say, not of the best uh, quality. So we wanted to do something which would be an improvement on the on the original, basically, and you know, still av available now, right? Yeah. And uh, I think we did a, a pretty good job. Would you agree? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> um, so, what about your plans for the future? My plans for the future. I want to continue focusing on Lego Technic. I, I want to have you know, one of the biggest channels uh, alongside Racing Brick and Serial. I, I want to be, you know, up, okay. up, you up there. You want to be famous. Huh? Yes, I want to be up there with them. <laughs> and um, I also want to make more uh, Mindstorms and robotics creations. Uh, I actually designed an official community model for the Mindstorms app, mm -hmm. uh, Neptunian, and that was a great, wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. So. I actually started my journey with Lego Technic from Mindstorms. Mm -hmm. Mindstorms was sort of my first set that used Technic pieces. Mm -hmm. And I really like the building system and uh, robotics are awesome, of course, because you can uh, make some cool programs. And uh, I also saw self-balancing segues, uh, very popular back in the day. And uh, some people even made them with the new Control Plus hub. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I mean, also what we are doing with Buvis, right? We are striving for, you know, to get kids interested in, in techniques in general, right? The STEM, I think in today's world, uh, you know, everything is going more and more automated, you know, computer controlled, artificial intelligence and so on. And you will always need good engineers to design all this, right? It's not going to happen just, you know, automatically, right? And everything anybody can do to get the kids interested, I think it's important, right? And this is also the, let's say, the idea behind Mindstorms. Um, I personally also also am uh, involved with the FLL, the first Lego League, if oh, you know it. The, very the competitions. awesome. Yeah, I'm the technical judge basically here in Slovenia. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Bubis, on the other hand, it's geared more to the, let's say, to the adults as far as performance go, but this is also for the kids, right? Yeah, yeah. And we also have some some kids here who, you know, persuade their parents. They say, hey, I want to have the boobies, you know, take me to take me to the boobies meetings because they are still uh, still minors, right? Yeah. So it's definitely not just just for and I myself, I say, look, we 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 achieved our purpose. You know, we got the, the kids interested uh, even more than uh, what is you know officially officially available from from Lego, and I think this is the important thing. Um, uh, one more question about your channel. So, how long have you had uh, your YouTube channel? Uh, I started in 2018. Back mm -hmm. then, I did not do many Technic videos, only system mm -hmm. mostly. Uh, then, in 2020, uh, around the summer or when the Ducati uh, Panigale motorcycle came mm -hmm. out. Uh, that's when I sort of switched my channel to focus only on Technic. I see. And when Mindstorms came out, I got the set in hand, reviewed it, and that's the first video on my channel that really took off mm -hmm. and started my accelerated growth, I guess. Well, now that since you have boobies, right, now it's gonna go yeah. rocket-like <laughs> skyward. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. 
Okay, I think this is all that I had, uh, you know, prepared questions, so to say. So you, if you have some questions for me, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. So for Buoys 4.0, what do you want to uh, add to the future generation? I think that's a very good question. Next question, please. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, kidding. I mean, we have, we always have a lot of ideas, right? I mean, we can go with Buvis 4, you know, we can go either, either way, you know, towards maybe, maybe um, even more motors or less motors, right? So it could be bigger, could be smaller, uh, could be maybe something to do with physical controls. I, frankly, at this moment, I don't know yet. But of course, there will be Buvis 4 and we, it will be again something different from what we have right now, right? Um, we are toying with many ideas, so to say. Uh, when did you start playing with Mindstorms and get involved with the first LEGO League? Um, this was, this was uh, basic, actually a coincidence because I was um, in the early stages of development of Buvis. Uh, we were um, at a presentation of FLL from the Slovenian FLL crew and I was, like I mentioned before, you know, because I immediately, it was obvious to me that this is, this is targeted at the kids, right? So the primary school kids and I was, hey, I mean, this is ideal. I mean, I wanted to do something. It's, it's actually my way, my personal way of doing something for the community, right? It's like charity work, so to say, in some form but it's always best to do um, something that you know how to do, right? Yeah. So instead of, I don't know, everybody can, you know, some, some things everybody can do, right? Other things, maybe just only an engineer or a doctor or somebody who specializes in one field is able to do. And I was like, hey, this is ideal. I like the Lego, I like the te technique and the technology and I will, you know, help kids um, learn about about um, Lego and STEM and science and technology and I started cooperating. This was in 2015, I think, right? So every year since then, I've been the, the judge here in, in, in Slovenia. Very awesome. Yeah, thanks. One logical question since you mentioned Buvis 4, right? Yeah. What would you like Buvis 4 to have? Uh, well, I personally want even more power okay. beca because uh, <laughs> okay. I, I, I just want super fast models. Okay. Uh, more power. Okay. Yeah. One problem here is that, you know, always, I mean, Legos are made of plastic, right? Yeah. Lego bricks are plastic more or less. So there is always going to be the weakest uh, component which will break. So this might be the axles, this might be the universal joints. Um, so we also for the for the Buvis motor, we were considering making a much stronger motor, right? People are asking you, why don't you use brushless motors? Why don't you use? Because then actually the plastic starts to melt, right? Even with the with the Buvis motors, with the current motors, it happened to us, especially with Jerry's, you know, the record speed record breaker models, that the axle is spinning so fast that it generates so much friction and heat that it actually melts the brick around the axle, right? It happened to us that we, we have a brick with an axle inside. It can still turn, but you cannot remove it, right? Oh. Because the axle got, you know, um, uh, smaller in the middle and the hole is also, you know, deformed. So this is the problem, right? So we, we can add more power to buoys, right? But yeah. how to do it without um, destroying the bricks, right? Yeah. And without, of course, using metal components, right? Yes. Because there is YouTube channels of people who add, you know, the remote control, batteries, motors, but they usually also have metallic axles and metallic universal joints, right? And that, that's, I mean, for me, this is no longer Lego. Then it's, you know, yeah. you can always make, uh, um, or you take some RC car and add some Lego to it and say it's Lego, but it's, it's not, right? So it's... Yeah. Yeah, we, we'll have to figure something out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make our own uh, stronger axles or something. But yeah, I mean, okay, nice. Uh, I mean, good, good point. So more power, right? Not smaller size or uh, less motors, more motors, just more power. Okay. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. wants power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good point, yeah. Okay, great. Thanks, Ivan. Thanks a lot. Thank you.